Hi there, Jamie here from Poodle Press. I hope you're well. Here's a new um, a look at our new uh, block that comes with storefront blocks. This is the product table block, and I'm going to show you how to use it. But it's using the new block editor, so it's incredibly simple to set up and get running on your site in just a few minutes. Uh, this is what I'm going to show you how to do. So a few examples of the type of things you can do. This is the standard product table that I'm showing you here, and it just lists products in a list, and then uh, your users can choose quantities over here on the right, change the quantities, so they can very quickly scan and then add the products to the cart like so. You can see they've added them to the cart. It comes with inbuilt filters, which you can choose to show or not. You see these filters working out the box. It's incredibly simple to use. Uh, a few other things that I'm gonna show you how to do with it. Uh, the fact that you can have multiple blocks on the same page. So in this, in the, in this instance, on this site, uh, we've got a fashion website, so we've got men's and ladies and women's clothing, and you'll see I can have two um, sets of blocks down here. So I've got a men's and a woman's as I scroll down, and you can customize the design of each of these. But that's great because then you can have multiple sections within each page. We've also built in a built-in catalog mode. So if you don't actually want users to purchase through your site, you can turn off the add to cart functionality and just have it as a list. So this is great if you just want to build a catalog um, in WooCommerce. And again, you can customize the design of all this stuff. Uh, we've also got a request for quote functionality in it. So this is great if you're selling products that you can't necessarily um, transact through your store, uh, but you want people to be able to select what they want and then click a request for quote option. And that will send you through a full quote uh, with all the details on it, which I'll show you a bit later on during this tutorial. And the other thing I want to show you quickly is because this is all using the new uh, block editor, it is incredibly simple to get some really um, different layouts for your pages when you're using the, the new um, products table block. Because it's using the Gutenberg editor, you can do pretty much anything you like with it in terms of design. So I'm going to show you some of that as well. So um, that's what we're going to cover. It's called the product table block and it comes with storefront blocks. And here we go. Right, so I'm going to start by showing the basic operations of how the products table block works. And the beauty of this is because it's a block, you can put it anywhere on your website. You can put it in the WooCommerce store page, on your home page, or indeed within any, any posts on your blog. So you start off by just clicking on the little block sign, and that's going to up, open up your block library. And then what you need to do is scroll down. And what we're after is looking for where it says storefront blocks. So storefront blocks is actually a collection of blocks of which the, the product table block is just one of them. And then you just click on product table and that's going to load in your products for you automatically like that, which is great. Now over on the right hand side of the screen over here, you've got a whole bunch of customization options. And I'm just going to talk you through those one by one so you can see exactly what's in the plugin. So I'm going to click on products first. So this lets you um, choose specific products to show within your products table. So you can literally go down here and just select individual products at will. And you'll see, you'll see them over here on the right and you can delete them as well. And you'll see an instant preview over on the left hand side. So that's how you can show individual products. Other things in here that you can show the maximum amount of products to show uh, per page. Um, you can also show products by specific product category. So in this instance, we've got these categories showing accessories, men, and categorized and women. So that, that's great because that enables you to have multiple blocks on the same page, but segment them by category. And you can also choose to show um, featured products as well. So that's going to pull in any products that you've just um, tagged as featured. You can bring those in automatically. So that's what uh, your product filters are. Then in display, we've got these cool options. So you can circle images. That's going to create some, it's going to take your normal square or rectangle photos and um, put a circle mask around them so they're circular. You can choose whether or not to show these filters up here. So these filters are generated automatically by your attributes. So these are just toggles that you can turn on and off. You can choose whether you want to show the, the price, um, the stock status. So at the moment these are in stock, but you can just turn those off with this simple toggle. You see that. Uh, whether you want to show this description, let's turn that off just so you can see that. Um, you've also got whether you want to show the rating or not. And again, let's turn that off and on just so you can see that working. And then these two are really interesting. So at the bottom, you'll have this add to cart. Now the styling won't be the same here as what you see when you actually publish this. Um, so you can turn that off and on just like so. And we've also got this request a quote um, option as well. So that's if you don't want people to transact through your site, but you can just allow them the functionality to request a, qu a quote. Uh, so I'm just going to choose circle images and update it so you can see the finished page here. 
and there we go there's my products that I selected um, and there's my information now over on the right hand side this is how your customers will actually choose quantities and they, they select them and then you see as soon as they select them here they can actually change the quantities so it's very intuitive how to use this and you'll see down here it's actually it's um, totalizing the amount of products they, they're um, adding to their cart and then they just click that button and it will add them to the cart for them over here so that's the basic overview of um, how the blocks work how storefront uh, the product table block works within storefront blocks next I'm going to dive deeper into how you can use it in different scenarios okay next up I'm going to show you how to how you can have multiple categories on the same page so the use case for this are very are varied uh, you might you might have a restaurant where you want to uh, segment your menu into this like starters mains and puddings or you might have a, sh a clothes shop like we've got today where you want to segment them into uh, men and women so that's the way I, that's the way I'm going to do it today so I'm just gonna start with a heading and we'll start with the men section so I'm going to click on the add new block again I'm going to scroll down click on storefront blocks choose the products table block and then all I'm going to do over on the right hand side here is select the men's, men's category that's what I'm going to do and then further on down the page I'm going to add another heading in fact let's add a just a spacer block to start with so the spacer block is really useful because it lets you add space between elements on the page then I'm going to add my heading and this is going to be women and then I'm going to click on my little plus sign again find my block click on products table and then over on the right hand side all I'm going to do is click on products and I'm going to select the category of women and that means I've got two two blocks on the same page first one showing men second one showing women make sure you update the page and then we go and view the page and you'll see now we've got our segmented page with uh, men at the top and women at the bottom but also you could add more blocks within that page as well so you've got full extensibility over the layout next up I'm going to show you how you can use the product table block uh, in catalog mode so this is great if you don't want uh, your customers have to actually process any trans transactions through your site you just want to have, hide the add to cart button uh, so they can just view it essentially um, so again um, I'm going to add the block and I'm going to search for the product table block here click on that it's going to load my products in and then over here on the right I'm going to click on display um, and in this instance if I look all the way down here you'll see there's just an option here to untick add to cart and that's going to move the add to remove the add to cart button um, so they can't actually add it to the cart you'll see when I view the page here it's just like a, di a directory which is um, fantastic if you want just a catalog mode using the product table block right next up is one of the uh, most requested uh, bits of functionality that we've had actually for this and that is the request for quote option so this is um, where you can give your customers the ability to request a quote uh, for your products but they can't actually transact them through the store and so we've built this right into um, the product table block so it's incredibly easy to get up and running so again I'm going to click on add new block find the products table block within the storefront blocks panel click on products table and again you still got full customization options to watch the display over here so in this case let me just choose some individual um, products just so it's a bit clearer what we're actually playing with so those are the products I'm showing uh, in this instance I'm going to hide the description and I'm going to hide the stock status because that's not really relevant and the final thing I'm going to turn off add to cart and I'm going to tick request for quote and you'll see I've got a request for quote option so it handles all the emailing for you as well so let's, let's just let's just update this and go and show you how it works so if I click on view page now there's my product table and again they can choose quantities here so they can tick in these little boxes and choose um, you know different quantities of each one and then you'll see there's a request for quote button at the bottom here and once you click on that you get this little pop-up where they put their name in uh, and their email it has to have an email um, and then finally down here is the message and then they click send request for quote and that will now be emailed off to them sorry to you as the store owner um, with that quote in it and if I go and show you my email here you'll see that comes in straight away there's the new quote request and this is what you'll receive as the store owner so you get a full WooCommerce uh, quotation 
it'll tell you the quantities and each product as well and also the customer message and their email so it's a pretty cool bit of functionality so you can now add um, requests for quotes incredibly simply uh, using the new uh, product table block okay and the last thing i want to show you is just give you a, a glimpse really of because um, this is using the new block editor the layout possibilities you have now using uh, the product table block are endless so this is just a quick example of some of the things that are possible it's very simple to build uh, but it looks pretty cool it's a different layout for your store um, but if you can imagine it you can build it now because because this is a block and you can do all sorts of cool stuff with it so i'm just going to show you quickly how i built this page by going to edit page at the top here and just talk you through the different elements of how i achieved that design and you'll see it's just using the, the the block editor, editor that comes with WordPress, the Gutenberg, edit, Gutenberg editor. And I'll just talk you through the individual elements of how this was actually built. So to, to start with, we've got a container block, which is a Caxton layout block, um, which is just, let me just show you actually, so, so it's clear for you. You'll see in the Caxton layout block, we've got these different options that you can choose in terms of layout. And all I did, I selected that option, you'll see there. And then within each of these containers, I put these different elements. So this first element here on the left, is a cover block so it's a standard um, Gutenberg block cover block so if you want to if you wanted to add this to your shop uh, you just search for cover it's a really cool block actually and it's getting more and more powerful all, all the time and there we go now you can do all sorts of whizzy stuff with it so you can um, you can have gradients it's got gradients built into it now all I did was select a background image for it uh, with a little gradient over overlay something a bit like that, in fact, I prefer that one. Uh, and then in this right-hand column, all I did, again, I selected the um, product table block and I filtered it over here on the right uh, by the category of women. That's all I did. Oh, the, actually, one more thing. I customized what was showing in here, so I turned a few of these off just to limit actually what was showing in here. And the other thing I did on this cover block, you see over here on the right, you can actually set a minimum uh, row height which is pretty cool. And actually one final thing which is really cool about the cover block is this, you can actually move the focal point just with this cool little arrow here. So you can get a really cool effect very easily. And then for the second one, I just repeated the process. And you'll see when I update and view that, it looks pretty cool. Um, but that's because we're using the new block editor. That's the beauty of building um, plugins as blocks these days. So thank you very much for listening. That's a, that's a look at the um, product block that comes with our Storefront Blocks plugin. There is a free 14-day risk, uh, risk-free trial of Storefront Blocks, so you can try this out to your heart's content, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Thanks very much.